next up, which is uh, why books are important, why reading is important, why why the history is important, why the some of the videos are not actually helpful. Um, Just because you see a YouTube video and there's God, dude, there's thousands. Just because you see a YouTube video, you know, I can put this to one of my hobbies is cooking. I, I like to cook. And so I won't like how to make uh, um, how to make lasagna. I won't watch one video and then go make lasagna. I will watch several videos. And, and, and then that even informs me about the p- person making the video. Did this one person make a bechamel? Did this person not make a bechamel? Does this one person say that it's okay to use ready bake noodles? And this one say, no, don't do that. And so I watch a multitude of videos and it really, that's where I really learn because it helps color. It's not just one damn reef tank how-to video is not going to show you the full gamut. Yeah, and, and a lot of the how-to videos, you, you got to understand that they're people working through their own understanding of what's going on in their tanks, right? You know, if you want to be good at something, teach it. Because as soon as you start teaching it, you'll realize what you do and don't actually know. And no diss to them, but I bet no. you, I bet you, a lot of them are two-year reefers. Yeah, and it's fine. Some of them are fifteen-year reefers, and I've watched them over fifteen years come to what we were saying fifteen years ago, as if somehow <laughs> that's like a new thing that they figured out. And it's like, oh and god, some of <laughs> some you, of them are famous. You just took fifteen years to get back to the point. You know, if only you could go and listen to what people were telling you 15 years ago, it would have sounded a lot like what you're telling people now. Yes. Stop all the little bullshit. So the history is important. Coral Magazine is still there. And it's kind of the thought leadership of the hobby kind of stuff. It's in Reefs Magazine over at Reefs.com. The books are still there, right? The books all have so much information. If, If you... It, it, stop reinventing the wheel, right? Build instead of struggle, right? You you, you know, you know I, I, there was a discussion on the Discord about UV, and I'm like, why are people using UV? What are you doing? Read read about why UV is problematic and what it's supposed to do, and then and then look around and go, really? Are there people? Are there people who who are having problems? who still are using the UV there are so what's the point of the UV is I don't in there there's like two different type of dinoflagellates and one goes waterborne so one of them you're able to like take care of with the UV but that would be like a spot you know running UV for a little bit and then discontinuing it right technically I don't mind them being on like large fish only systems that I run I don't I typically don't run them on reef tanks at all though I, I mean, you can, if you want a UV, get a UV, but try to understand that the, there's a lot of information on UV and there's a lot of information why it might work. And there's a lot of information about why it, it might not work. And, and it would be so much better, I think, to build on what people have done rather than building on what somebody who's been in the hobby for a few years thinks it's 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 fun to learn okay back to your cooking thing it's really cool to learn to cook on videos with people who are learning to cook you're learning the same kinds of things at the same time the worry is taking that person you you have to know they're learning how to cook they are not an expert on cooking right so you need to talk to people who are experts on cooking when you reach a level that that will make a difference to you. But see, this is why I will watch if like, if I'm trying to make a, uh, if I'm trying to make a, a, let's just keep it simple and stay with the lasagna. I want to make a really good lasagna. So I don't just put in YouTube lasagna, click on the first video and watch it and recreate it and go like, I can make the best lasagna. Yeah. Because and, and bless them. And this is why YouTube is cool. You'll get the videos where the, the pr- people don't know how to make a proper video. And it's annoying because they don't edit enough. But it's like, just a, 
like a lady in her kitchen and she's fumbling with it, you know, but she's, this is how I do it. And that's totally cool. And then you watch another video by like chef John from, you know, all recipes.com. And he's like a classically trained chef and he showed, Oh shit, he made a bechamel. And so he made it like this. Okay. And the lady just pulled something out of a jar and didn't even call it bechamel. But that's why I take all that together. And I'm like, all right, well, I want to hand make my own bechamel. Or maybe I'm like, I don't even want to mess with that. I just want to make it simple like she did. But but that cross referencing. So instead of different videos. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 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 So instead of fucking with your tank this week, spend 15 minutes reading an article. (laughs) Read an article. (laughs) There you go. Yes. You know, grab grab the reef aquarium. You know, there's a lot of books up there. You know, Fenner's book. I, I I don't open that book at all anymore because I, I wasn't thrilled with that book. You know, um, Tullock's book. You know, there's books, but but reading Sean somebody Tullock. else who has taken the time to distill what they think for you uh, is, I, I find to be incredibly helpful. There are a million articles out there. Read the articles and, you know, get Coral Magazine and read the new articles. Uh, they're talking about, it's their second, um, this issue is the second installment about refugiums. So I want to see if there's anything useful. Uh, uh, algae filters, actually. Oh, that's that's yeah. interesting because I'm not a giant fan of those. No, me, I, I hate I them. Check it out. I, I don't hate them. I just, I, I think the there isn't there. I'm but pretty some much people, there too. But yeah. Jason loves them, and I respect Jason. And Jason oh, even like algae them. turf scrubbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. where. That's where. That's where I don't mess with them. But that's where I think there there is the only there there. So. We'll talk about that. Um, maybe we should both read the article, but yeah, <laughs> grab grab that magazine and read it. Go over to reefs.com and look through old advanced aquarist articles and whatever they got going on over there now. Look at the skeptical reef keeping crap. Read some of the stuff. And dude, and- that is so true. What you what you said is this weekend you're gonna screw with your tank. Take a knee and just read. Because you want to be involved in your aquarium, you want to this or that. Educate yourself. Right. Read five articles about alkalinity. Yeah. Don't watch five videos about alkalinity. Randy Holmes Farley. Just Google alkalinity and Randy Holmes Farley. And then read some other ones as well. For sure. Like I was just talking about the cross-referencing videos. And Randy will will bury you in chemical details that you don't care about. But, you know, magnesium. Look. When you get a magnesium test that's 1700 or you get a magnesium test that's 1150 and two weeks ago you tested and your magnesium was 13, you should know that that is a testing artifact. You should know how badly a magnesium titration test can be off. It can be off 150 points. And, and as far as it being high, that would literally only happen if you accidentally dumped a bottle in there, but you would know that you did that. It's not going to shift like that on its own. And do you know how much of a bottle you'd have to dump in by accident? Like Just all the bottles. 300 <laughs> ppm? Yeah. yeah. So much. Yeah. So anyway, I think we've beaten that up. I, I think, yeah, you know, the magazines I think are really good. Because you know why the magazines are good? Why I like magazines and books? Vetted? Because it's vetted. So at least one or two other people besides the author has read that article, not just for, for you know, punctuation and does this sentence make sense, but for content. Yeah. And, and so it's not just bullshit that I'm vomiting out of my mouth like this show. It's I've spent, when I write an article or do a talk, I spend a lot of time thinking and crafting and am I right and, and referencing and figuring out is this the best way to say it? Does this even make sense? And there's a lot of articles that never see the light of day because I get part way through them and go, oh, this is bullshit. I'm not <laughs> writing, you know. So get it. Get, I say get a subscription to Coral Magazine. I think it's, it's, it's one of the only magazines left and they're independent. Yeah, they're independent. Uh, and people write good stuff and, 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 you know, it's been vetted and it will tell you stuff you may not have thought of. There's always interesting things to me in there.